And we have some great news. The FDA approves Moderna and Johnson and Johnson booster shots as well as mixing and matching booster shots. But there's no word yet on approving them for children 5 to 11. Our Nixon Norman sat in on the Huntsville COVID briefing where local health officials spoke about the vaccine approval for children. Nixon, what else can you tell us? Julia, the approval of these children vaccines is supposed to be looked at by the end of this month, and then those vaccines are going to be administered sometime in the coming weeks if it is approved. Health officials feel hopeful that this is another piece in ending this pandemic. We have all been impacted by COVID over the last 18 months. And one thing we have learned is that COVID does not discriminate, and that even the young ones are in danger if they get COVID. COVID does not respect your age. It does not respect your health status. We've had younger people to die. Right now in Alabama, overall, still about 19 or 20 percent of our cases are in kids 0 to 17 years of age. The vaccine has been available to those 12 and over for a while now. Now, vaccines for those aged 5 to 11 are in the process of getting approved. But these vaccines will be a little different compared to the rest, most notably in dosage size. Uh, the product is going to look different in terms of the presentation, actually going to have a different color uh, of the bottle. Uh, the dosage will be different. It will be a 10 microgram dosage. Approving vaccine Vaccines for this younger group of people obviously means more immunity for them, but it also means more immunity for everyone. We also want to keep in mind that our children, first of all, need to be protected, but also the loved ones around our children. We don't want a, a grandparent or a parent perhaps that has an immunosuppressive condition or a, uh, a low immunity for some other reason uh, to contract COVID from their child or grandchild. These vaccines could help lead the way back to normalcy, something children have missed out on since the pandemic began and something pediatricians are worried about. As pediatricians, we are extremely anxious to get our children back to a sense of normal. Dr. Landers did also mention that if you are worried about getting your child vaccinated, you should speak to your pediatrician.